Four goals shared at the Jay Davidson Stadium this evening. Altrincham 2, Hartlepool United 2. Phil Parkinson, the Altrincham manager, joins us. Phil, was a point of piece a fair uh, return for each side uh, tonight? I don't think on chances, but I think on territory in first half and second half possession, probably so. Um, really, really frustrated the fact that we've uh, not been able to see that out at 2-1. However, Hartlepool are a very good team in the playoffs. Um, a team that have come down from the Football League, but ultimately both teams are two teams that score a lot of goals and concede a lot of goals and maybe it was written in the stars before we turned up tonight. But I felt the first half performance was superb for myself. Disappointed obviously to go a goal behind, but I felt it was against a run of play. But then second half, I just, um, I don't know if fatigue's caught up with a few players. Um, I said to you, I think it was last week, Barnet and probably Wheelstone, with some new players coming into the team, are they, are they not quite up to speed yet? And, and maybe they've needed the Barnet, Wheelstone and, and tonight to, to get them, them sort of minutes and, and mileage in the legs and it should bode them well going into the next sequence of games. First half performance was excellent and <clears throat> Chris Con clark uh, was certainly the most influential player on the pitch, I think. Yeah, offensively, absolutely. I thought Elliot Osborne um, did really well as well in the first half. I thought his, his uh, energy and tenacity, and I thought that's the bit that we couldn't replicate in the second half in terms of the midfield's energy. But yeah, you're absolutely right. As, you, as we said about Isaac in the last game, I thought Chris really showed it well. I could hear everyone telling him to shoot when he went through, and we've showed him so many clips where he's in that position and the pullbacks are on. He's, he's chose the right right uh, pass selection there I know it was a bit of a messy goal but if he doesn't pull it back and the keeper saves it or parries it out that, that opportunity's gone and I thought he was exceptional in that moment and that's Isaac Marriott's uh, only his second goal for, for Altrincham uh, Football Club and perhaps that was a, a result of the different formation the different shape you played today which had him further up the pitch yeah yeah well listen both teams uh it started with a 3-5-2. We, we probably look more like a box 3-5-2 uh, with Chris dropping a little bit deep. They changed the shape to a 4-2-2-2, two, 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 I think. Um, I probably put too many twos in there, but you know the, the point I'm making. Uh, they were very narrow and they were trying to obviously stop us uh, dominating the ball like we were in the first half. But I, I still felt when they changed that we were able to do that. We created really good overloads. The runs in behind were really hurting them. And that was a theme all night when Justin came on a thought his, his impact from the bench, the runs he was making in behind were really causing them a lot of problems. Um, but yeah, there was, they, they've obviously had two shape changes in the game. We've changed a couple of personnel to freshen things up. But I felt our shape was working superbly well in the first half. And it's just such a shame that uh, we couldn't maintain them energy levels and quality um, on the ball to be able to put them under more pressure, even though we create some really good chances. Really disappointed we weren't able to control the second half more than what we did. There were a lot of chances uh, in the game and either side could have easily nicked it at the end. <clears throat> no, absolutely. Uh, Ethan saved us again, hasn't he? So, But that's why he's there and that's why we were desperate to sort of get an Ethan Ross in um, and he's, he's, he's done it again. Um, so... They could have done a smash and grab and how low would we all have felt there in the dying seconds if he doesn't make that save. I think the second phase I was more concerned about with the follow-up shot. Um, but he, he did so he did exactly what we need him to do in that moment. So it only takes that. But again, how many chances have we had where you expect one of them to go in and Jameson's uh, bailed them out? But I don't think our shots were of the highest quality. We need to do better in their moments. And um, We'll be kicking ourselves that we haven't took all all, all three points and on chances, um, but on territory and possession, it was probably a fair result. Ten games in now. Every game apart from the Barnet game has been very, very close, and that's reflected in in the output: six uh, six draws, two wins, two uh, defeats. Uh, perhaps a little bit disappointing points wise, but overall, I think we're we're in pretty good shape. Very disappointing points wise. Uh, we, we as well as we've done. I think we have had a, a good opening uh, start to the season we haven't been able to to take maximum points when we've been on top enough so it's been a good start um, th there's no getting away from that but we, we've got to do better when we're on top and we've got to if we want to kick on in the division and break into the the, the top end I know we, we're in around that mid table area at the moment but if we want to break through we, we've got to do things like we've, we're notoriously known for coming back um, scoring late goals rather than hanging on at the end and I felt we were hanging on a little bit there at the end 
And a year ago, last weekend, we went bottom of the table after a 4-1 defeat against uh, Dagenham and Redbridge. So it's been a much more positive start to the uh, 23-24 uh, season. And I, th I think we're in for more of the same going forward. Some very, very close games. Teams generally very well matched. Yeah, um, listen, we've massively improved from last season. And that's why it's, uh, I'm standing in front of you really frustrated that we've drawn with Hartlepool United. When they've been here in the past, it's been, can we just get something from this game? We wanted to win this game and we've, we wanted to back up that draw, that, that good draw for us away at Wealdstone um, uh, with, a, with a win tonight against a playoff team, a team that are going to be one of the favourites to go up automatically, if not through the playoffs. So it shows where we're at as a club. Um, just disappointed that at 2-1 we couldn't control more of the territory, more of the game. But again, I've got to give the lads a lot of credit because they've took it to Hartlepool. We, we've created some really, really guilt-edged chances, some good chances, sorry, not guilt-edged chances. Um, and another day we, we win 3-2, but I'm still disappointed we've conceded two goals because especially the second one, well, the first one as well, they'll say the well-worked goals and we would look at them like that if it was your way, but you'll always pick bones in it if you're the, the team on the receiving end. And particularly the second one, I felt we, we could have stopped that and we could have defended that a little bit better. But ultimately, Hartlepool, they've got some good players and if you make mistakes, they'll punish you. On to Saturday, Ebbsfleet, uh, United National League South champions have made a decent start to uh, their uh, return on their return to the uh, National League. They've got a very good manager in uh, Dennis Kutrib and uh, th 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 they'll be uh, a big, big, uh, big, big mountain to climb against them. Hey, let's make no bones about it. These are a very good outfit, score a lot of goals, got a real good player in Don Polian. Um, for me, should be playing at a higher level than this. A real goal threat, one we'll have to be very aware of, but they, they play a real good brand of football. I enjoy watching them. Uh, like you said, they're well drilled, well managed, um, but certainly we've got to go with a real positive mindset and uh, look to take three points because we can't keep drawing games. We need to make sure when we're on top, we're taking maximum points.